played probably the worst singles match I've played in a long time. Uh, I, I knew it before I switched paddles. I said this, I'm pretty sure I said it in this video. I said this would not be a smart idea to use a paddle that I haven't used before. That's, that's dumb. the intro to the new vlog and if you don't know by now the vlog is back and i'm happy and it's the reason i started making youtube videos the vlog and it was basically a way for me to like track my story because i i was taking very detailed like notes or planning of my days and weeks i have for the last four years i have uh like planners that are just filled out of like what i'm doing very similar to the vlog but with writing it uh so it's not as detailed, but during the tournament, it's pretty, it's pretty close. On another note, food. You guys probably don't know this, but I have pretty bad uh, gut issues. Like my digestive system is very, very poorly built somehow. I'm trying to figure it out with doctors and just, you know, try and get to the root of that problem. But I mean, I'm 23. I never really took my diet super seriously, as you know from probably watching some of my latest or last videos but i've been trying for a while it's harder when you get to a tournament because you know it's like you're tight for time and it's like accessibility i i like to talk about food in every video just a little bit i'm really gonna take that i'm gonna try and take that to the next level this tournament and just maybe you know it's it might only help me an inch or two or it might only help me a tiny bit that can go a long way in pickleball in any sport that that can go a long way. You know, it's one by 1% margins, 51%. You're going to win the match. If you win 51% of the points, like in theory, that's true most of the time. Yeah. So right now we're at first watch and I'm going to stick to the diet I've been doing and I'm going to try and get avocado toast and oatmeal, maybe home fries or something like that. Just a uh, carb up. Uh, I would like to get protein, but right now I'm trying to stay away from eggs. Cause I think that might be causing some problems. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right, quick update. Today is Tuesday. I played for an hour this morning with uh, my coach right after, and then uh, came back to my hotel and really cool. I picked up a uh, package sent from Paddle Tech. Let's see what's inside. Let me get a better look. Whew. That's clean. Let's compare it to the other paddle, my the one I'm currently using. So right off the bat, you can see a major difference in the, uh, the grip length. Yeah. Which also means that the throat, there's less paddle face, which is good because you're not really using this, this part of it, this part of the paddle face. It's a little bit longer, but I think the sweet spot is gonna be really nice. And I like a longer handle. This this handle is very long, so we'll, we'll see how it is, but I like a longer handle so I can put my second hand on the top. I'm freaking excited as heck to try this out. It's like I was talking about in the last video, trying a new paddle right before a tournament, you know it has risks and it's, it's an inter interesting decision to make but I think it's gonna be a better paddle. So do I use the paddle that I've been that I'm a little bit more used to, or do I use the paddle that I think is better? I mean, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit with it right now and get a feel for it. That's, that's the plan, all right? Let's go baby, tournament. Tournament day, not tournament day, but tournament week. This is why we do it. This is why we, this is the goal, man. It's hard to put into words when I'm like feeling right now. I'm just really excited about this. That's my signature right there. I don't know if this is a signature paddle, but there's my there's my signature. And I'm gonna make sure it's the best paddle ever by the time it comes to market. So, gonna have to wait, but perfection takes time. Let's go, baby. Come on. 
All right, so what I'm doing right now is letting these paddles. Oh, something new about this paddle as well are the grips. There's no longer the weird butt cap anymore. You see this like squishy thing? I don't know what this is. It's replaced by, for me, this is a normal butt cap. But I come from tennis, so I mean, normal, super subjective. This is my normal. Usually when I put on lead, I kind of just put the paddles next to each other and then just eyeball where I was before. I want the weight to be lower for this one because the grip is longer. And I try and use like tools for this stuff so I'm not touching it. So I'm not touching the lead, but I mean, I'm playing singles in 20 minutes so I kind of got to hurry. That's not bad. I'm a little bit off. But it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, there's no such thing as perfect. So that's why people who are perfectionists, such as myself, struggle to get things or struggle like stopping things. All right. So I put electrical tape over my lead so that I'm not touching it. Usually it doesn't take me this long to do a paddle, but this one is going to take me a little bit. And by the way, uh, I don't know if you know this, but red is my favorite color, which is why this paddle is red. Yeah, it's cool. Now time for the grip. I really don't got a lot of time. This is definitely the longest handle I've ever seen in pickleball. I'm not sure if the, if the paddle we put on market, the grip will be this long, but this, might, this is very, very long because it's fitting directly to my needs. Sometimes you need to customize a paddle towards you. I have have the honor and the pleasure of doing just exactly that. Here we go, baby. See, I have enough room to really get my left hand on there. Because usually I'm like here and I don't like interlocking my fingers. So that's the paddle. Unfortunately, I only played with uh, Gabe Joseph for an hour. He had something else scheduled and we could only get an hour in. As far as the paddle, so this is my problem. I think I'm going to like it more than my current paddle. But now I'm used to the paddle. Now I'm used to like the one I had been using for the last three weeks or months. Remember I said I had only been using uh, the paddle tech for eight days or so leading into the tournament. Now this will be one day leading into the tournament, which is like a huge jump even for me. So I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. I'm playing again <laughs> in 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Couple quick things. One, I tried the paddle and I think I think I can like it, but it's just too big of a switch the day before a tournament. If I had a week, I, I would be more inclined to switch. But a day before, it would be a dumb decision for me to play just because I like the way it looks. And that's kind of the main thing is like I like I like the paddle, the way it looks. So I can't I can't play just because of that. As much as I want to, I can't. So I'm going to use my older paddle tech until... Until I'm done the tournament and then I'll start using this one, see if I like it and just keep, you know, keep uh, editing it until it's the product that I am confident is the best it can be, you know. Man, oh man, oh man. The first words I've said in a while. It's, uh, it's matches like this that, you know, really get you thinking and... crazy because I, I just I don't even know what to say because anything I say is just like it would just be negative I'm just not really in the mood to speak either but like here I am like speaking okay I'm not gonna take away credit from uh, the guys who played they played well they they earned it It's just to me that it's just unacceptable to, to lose like that. However, it's just, unac it's just unacceptable. That's the only word I have for it. And like, I don't know how I'm like, I just don't even know what I'm going to do right now. I, I, I just feel so disappointed and so like, I'm just like trying to 
Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what's the problem. Where did I go wrong? And like, I mean, I've been doing a lot. I think for the first time, like, I mean, obviously there are problems, but I just, oh, did I eat too soon before that last match? Did I, you know, not play with Zane enough today? Like, I played singles and mixed doubles this morning. So we have singles and mixed tomorrow. But I played with Zane also today. It's, it's, match, it's matches like that that really, oh. Okay, I, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop. Okay, it's only been about 20 minutes since that last video I recorded, but <clears throat> pretty funny. The hotel I'm staying at is so bad, it's, it's terrible. Uh, and usually I don't really care about the hotels cause like I don't need a super nice hotel. I just like this hotel that I'm staying at it's costing me like $1,400 for seven nights. It's so bad. The sheets and the pillow are so bad that I just went to Mattress Firm and bought a pillow and bought sheets for like $300. I could have just, I could have just stayed at a nicer hotel for that. I probably couldn't have, or I would have if I would have known. I, I didn't, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm not going to make this mistake again. Also, I ordered PF Chang's to the, to the, to my hotel. Uber Eats, Uber Eats, fried rice and shrimp. I don't know if that's healthy. I can't be super unhealthy, but this is how I'm going to de-stress. De I already feel a little bit better. That, and I'm gonna watch some Formula One and just get ready for bed. Okay, good night. That day is Thursday. It's the round of 16 matches. Uh, and yesterday I was figuring out whether I wanted to keep using the older paddle or the newer paddle. Just flip it out. This bad boy. And I, I think I'm gonna like this one more long term, <clears throat> but like I said, it, I didn't know if I was sure if I should switch right away. So after, after losing yesterday, I was just like, all right, well, there's nothing to lose. And I used this, played pretty well in singles. I think this helped my singles a decent amount because the grip is longer. I think I'm just gonna like this paddle a lot more because it's more suited for me. So then I played mixed with it with Jesse. We had our first round against Matt and Lucy, and uh, we kicked some ass. 11-5, 11-4. We played, we played awesome. I'm feeling pretty, pretty confident with this paddle. I mean, would have been nice to be in all three events, but just happy to be here. <clears throat> okay. Let's, uh, let's talk about what happened today. Today is Friday, it's quarters day. I was in uh, two of the three quarters and uh, I, uh, I lost them both. And now I'm just, I just don't even know what to do. My flight's not until Monday and it's Friday. I guess let's talk about the first one real quick. Uh, against Garnett, I just, I played quite poorly. I played probably the worst singles match I've played in a long time. I just missed so many returns, and it w they weren't against tough serves. Lee, my coach, is convinced it's because I switched paddles, which, you know, she's, she told me that. Now I believe it, so. It's probably right. I mean, I, I, I knew it before I switched paddles. I'm pretty sure I said it in this video. I said this would not be a smart idea to choose a paddle that I haven't used before. That's, that's dumb. And then I lose a match, and I let that go to my head uh, and I let, and I become, I became emotional and made a emotional decision rather than a rational decision. And then, uh, flash forward to mixed Jesse and I played J dub in Georgia. We lost the first, the first game we were up most of it. It was a weird game. Nothing too crazy, but it was just weird. We were up nine, seven and I miss a return and it just spirals after that like the whole match after that moment just spirals because I miss a return she missed a return then 10-9 I have a high ball and I miss it wide like I go to poach and I miss it wide just bad like we were in that game we should have won that first game and we just gave it to them uh and then the second game we went down 10-1 I think we lost the second game 11-5. It's just such a what do I do feeling right after you lose. 
So what do I do? What I'm supposed to do is like do a cool down and stretch because you're supposed to do that after you play and I've been doing that this whole tournament. But it's just something about right after you lose when you just want to get out of there right away. Like I don't want to, I didn't want to stay there at the site. I don't want to stay in this this place no more. I want to, I want to go back. I want to leave. And the reason I think it, it's good to do that stuff like stretch and do it like jog is because you're just mentally not ready to get back to the world. You just, you need that time to cool off. And I'm in that moment right now where I need to cool off and I'm just don't know what to do. It's been like 15, 20 minutes since I lost. I just drove back to my hotel. That's on that. Real quick, this is the type of stuff I'm not proud to admit, but I'm at a Panda Express right now and I'm going to demolish some food. I'm not proud of myself, but I'm gonna do it and then we'll get right back to it. Let's go. Bye. Tournament's over, had a little bit of time to think about everything. And you know, I always expect more from myself, but I don't think it was the worst, the worst tournament I could have had. I think all things considered, it was pretty decent. I mean, using a paddle that you never used before. I mean, I wish I didn't put myself in the situation where now I have an excuse, but I mean, if you, if I lose, there's always some reason why. This tournament, I mean, I don't feel like it was a, success but you learn from your failures so i think that it was beneficial to play i think i want to work towards maybe next year finding some time off during the year this year i'm gonna just go ham i need to get reps with the paddle like i think that's the biggest thing with my confidence and just the confidence with the paddle using it for the first time i mean it took me months to feel comfortable with my old paddle so yep that's it thanks for watching guys love you all peace Thank <laughs> you.